हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वे आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन लार्ज डिफरेंस ऑन कोर्ट शेप सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट चैट यू आर गिवन एन एरे ए ऑफ लेंथ एन एंड अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर के इट इज़ गारंटी डैट ए आई बिलोंग्स टू वन टू के फॉर एवरी इंडेक्स आई फ्रॉम वन टू एन यू कैन डू द फॉलोइंग एट मोस्ट वंस चूज इंडेक्स आई आई रेंजिंग फ्रॉम वन टू एन एंड वैल्यू एक्स एक्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम वन टू के then set ai equal to x find the maximum possible value of sum of adjacent differences of a after performing this operation at most once that is maximize the quantity so we need to maximize the sum of the difference of ai minus ai plus 1 so t is the number of test cases n and k are the length of array and maximum allowed integer and second line contains the elements of array a so we need to output the maximum possible sum of adjacent difference of a after replacing exactly one element so if you take here n is 2 k is 5 so we have 1 and 5 here the maximum difference can be of 1 and 5 only as k is 5 so we have a limit of changing an element to 1 to 5 from index 1 to 2 so from 1 to 5 the minimum is 1 and maximum 5 which is already present in the array hence it will give the maximum difference and hence 4 is the output now going to 3 and 8 which means n is 3 k is 8 k is ranging from 1 to 8 and our n is 3 which means at any index i can replace the numbers from 1 to 8 so we have replaced here 2 replacing 2 with 1 gives 717 this would give us the difference of 6 And this also six. Six plus six would give us twelve, which is the output. If you take here two, then it would give you five plus five, which would be ten, and not maximum. Now going to five and twenty, which means k range from one to twenty, and we have five elements. so here we change 1 to the number 20 so the sum of adjacent is 18 minus 3 which is 15 20 minus 3 17 20 4 16 and 19 minus 4 15 so if you add them up this would be 33 this would be 30 giving a total of 63 so this will give us the maximum why it is giving the maximum because we have changed 1 to 20 which means if the numbers are nearest to 1 so we are changing the number to k so the intuition behind this would be to take the elements first of all take the absolute difference of the current element so we have a current sum then we would count the original contribution of the elements and after calculating the original contribution we will check when we replace an element with either 1 or k so if we replace any element with 1 what will be the contribution and if we replace element with k what will be the contribution after checking all these things we would take the original contribution and subtract from the current sum 
and then add the new contribution so let it be new corresponding to one same way you will do it for new element corresponding to k and hence we would get the maximum sum as maximum of the current sum maximum current sum and the new sum with one and new sum with k so we are definitely going to replace a number with one or k because they are at the borders and they will decide which border would be the best for the array and before all this we will calculate the current also to make sure that the current sum is not exceeding if we are replacing any of the elements with one or k so if the current sum is lowest it will be replaced in the last one which we are taking the maximum of these three components so let's look at example to understand it what we are trying to achieve so in case of 7 2 7 we first take the current sum so what is our current sum it is basically normally the sum which we want so it will be 10 which is 5 plus 5 now we want original contribution so if my index is greater than 0 which means my index is starting from 0 here so here it is not greater than 0 so if uh, I check the other condition if my index is less than the length of the array yes it is so what I will do I will subtract from the next element so it will give me 5 now I move to this 2 so I will do 2 minus 7 and here also 2 minus 7 now my new contribution with 1 would be if I replace with 1 it will be 7 minus 1 6 on coming to 1 will get 1 minus 7 which is again 6 and again 6 now I calculate once affecting so so after replacing this it comes out to be 10 minus 10 plus 12 so the answer comes out 12 now let's quickly look at the code so first we are calculating the current sum which is totally the sum of the elements at original level then we define maximum sum as the current sum we take the original contribution as 0 and calculate for each of the element the original contribution is ai minus ai minus 1 if i greater than 0 ensuring that if it is the first element then it would go to this loop where it would be ai minus ai plus 1 and if it is the element at the last then it would go with this loop so similarly we are calculating the contributions and then taking the sum and calculating the maximum sum 